so it's a there's something called kiss principle so this was way back in 1950s when us army one of the generals who invented an aircraft or something like that i forgot that just go back to wikipedia and read it so he created that mechanism in such a way that if it breaks down even a stupid uh, soldier in the field can put it back together and make it work again it doesn't require big manuals or operating procedure or anything like that that's why it's called keep it simple stupid <laughs> like that right <laughs> so so when we created the product it was a f- workflow product we code code named flow but flow we couldn't go for a domain name and things so we had an internal competition so so one of the sales guys came back and asked me like we said we'll give a gold coin for that okay it was pretty small but we were still very this kind of very employee engagement and you know, very important for us so we said we'll give a gold coin and that guy came and asked me what is that one thing about this flow thing that we are creating tell me about this one thing one word and then i told uh, like simplicity it's very simple anybody can use it and then he went and googled around and he came back and said i'm going to combine this kiss principle and flow and called it kiss flow and among other names that came up as the first name and uh, we said go I went with this because there a lot of people said you know it looks like like some sort of adult uh, uh, stuff <laughs> 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 Yeah, a lot of comments were there right <laughs> but now it's like it's a bit con- I, I, thinking back like when i went back to trademark my uh, legal attorney his name is sudhir ravindran he was said the best trademark i ever got from anyone in india is your company name <laughs> everybody name something is top trademarkable this is like the best trademark you are brilliant <laughs> seriously and then i went to branding guys and then he said This is amazing. <laughs> We have trouble branding companies names because there is no emotion, there is no fun, there is no conversation starter. There is nothing. It's no blah 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 name, <laughs> right? So both my trademark guy and my branding people they just love it. They just love it. And this whole conversation is a good example. Like if you have not had it kiss flow, you wouldn't have even asked the question. If it's some sada name, right? They say, okay, name. <laughs> Next page, <laughs> right? So that's what you'd have done. So it's a great conversation. You can't forget our name. Nobody can forget. And that's what you need when you're starting up. You need a name. You need a brand because you don't have money to put your name in people's mind. You don't have money. So what you have is very little resources. And one of the resources is the name that you can keep. And if you can't keep that name. curious powerful intuitive small rememberable you missed it but i learned it the hard way orange cape was bad name because it was emotional a lot of times we get emotional about it right because orange is a tamil name i don't know whether if you know orange is a tamil word <laughs> oh, okay. oh yeah orange naranj orange then orange cape orange yeah so it became so the word orange the color orange took from the word or uh, the fruit orange right so the, the the originally orange fruit was from this part of the world right the kerala tamil nadu the nartanga nam solrom right? that became the orange in spanish right so it got selective breeding and it took the color orange okay got originally it. the orange color orange fruit color was not orange oh, okay. <laughs> the orange fruit color was green <laughs> actually slight light greenish yellow right and they did the selective breeding and then it became orange and then now we we don't use the color orange and the fruit orange interchangeably mm. but yeah that's the history but we did all of that but anyway so but yeah that's the example of orange yeah